vaccination. That when the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, some of one of the reasons that was given was when the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw the nations before, that there were persons who, for one thousand months alone, they were in jihad. For years upon years, they were in etika and ibadah. The Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam compared their lot with that of ours, and he said that how could we compete? And then we were blessed with the night of power, Laylatul Qadr. And like that, throughout the year, there are different times during the, there are different days during the week. There are different days during the month wherein Allah Zawajal increases his favors. There are different times during our 24 hours when Allah Zawajal will increase the amount of virtues and mercies that he blesses this ummah with. But are we taking heed? Are we taking advantage of it? Or is it just going by? Are we still, as our days and our years go by, and we attain 40 years locally? If you want two fellas, come out, what? Cut out half of the silence, sir. Our own actions, and by means of that, we would try and rectify that of our family, and like that, we would go. Don't try to think about the whole world, right? And want to bring about change. No, start with yourself. That is why when the Mashaik was asked, in all this chaos and confusion that was going on during Ramadan and the Palestine bombing and everything, the Mashaik throughout the world, they were asked, what should we do? What could we do? They all said, seek forgiveness for yourself. Right? As a matter of fact, a salah, a two rakats, nafil salah was recommended. The hadith is not, it is not reported by Imam Tabrani, right? That the Prophet ﷺ recommended the performance of a two rakat salah in which the dua, Allahumma gfirli wa tuba alayya innaka anta tawabul ghafoor was recited 50 times in the salah. Just like when we pray our salah to tasbih and we recite the hamd 75 times in it, so too this salah was recommended on a daily basis. Two rakat salah that you recite in the salah, in ruku and in sijda and different positions 50 times. Allahumma gfirli wa tuba alayya inna ka anta tawabul ghafoor. To recite it 50 times. That is what the mashaykh has re recommended. All over the Arab world, all over the indo pak continent, that was the record. Oh Allah, forgive me. That is what it is all about. Oh Allah, forgive me. Start with yourself. The recognition that I am doing wrong and because of the wrong that I am doing, other people are being affected by it. Sometimes we don't see how it affects other people. Sometimes in generations going down, you want to know why this is happening and why that is happening. Right? It is because of the, 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 the evil that was perpetrated by your parents or your grandparents or something like that. Sometimes you, you inherit a piece of property, you inherit a piece of land. You inherited, yes, but how did your four parents get it? Right? All of these are things that we need to pay particular attention to. Right? One companion went to the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I want to become Mustajabu Dawat. That might be Saudi. So on the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, we would not be fasting. But the days before that, from the first of the Lijjah, Next week, Thursday, when we are looking for the moon, and most likely we are going to see the moon next week, Thursday, because it's going to be quite old. The day before that, it will be about 17 hours, 16 hours old. Mightn't be able to see it, but after that, on the 25th, which will be, the moon is going to be 29, the moon is going, that's on the 29th of the Qadr, the moon is going to be about 40 hours old. Clearly visible once we have the weather and all of that. So, but Hazrat Abu Huraira, Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala would go out in the marketplaces during the first 10 days of Zilhijjah and they would recite the takbir aloud so that the people around them would start reciting it as well. Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala would stand in the member in Mina and he would start reciting the takbir until the whole masjid is reciting the takbir, until the area right around the people are reciting the takbir. We have forgotten about that takbir. We feel that the takbir is only the takbir after the Isfarat Salah. No, my dear brothers and sisters, once the moon is seen, takbir should be recited as much as we could. As much as we could, we should keep reciting the takbir. These are the days for glorifying Allah Zawajal. These are the days for glorifying Allah as, as much as we could. The Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that we should increase in our tahlil, in our takbir, in our tahmid. We should increase in the amount we recite, La ilaha illallah. 
every morning after Fajr Namaz, there are a group of us who sit in the room in the back. Come and sit with us. You don't have to be hurried to run out of the masjid and go away. No. You want to sit and recite your Quran, you want to sit for the talim, no problem. Sit. You want to spend some time and come and sit and join with us and sit and we do some zikr of Allah Azawajal, whether it be la ilaha illallah, whether it be alhamdulillah, whether it be la hawla wa la quwwata, whatever. In whatever way we want to glorify Allah, we want to beg and seek His forgiveness. Let us utilize these 10 days, my dear brothers and sisters. May Allah Azawajal bless us all. Wa akhidu da'wan and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.